Welcome back to Takabola Gaming. My name is Takabola. I've uh, dealt with some amount of the trade. I actually wanted to state this. No, Bavaria. I wanted to state this, but um, my governing capacity, we are right on the edge once again. And I don't actually know. Level 27 gives you the next one. So, uh, hopefully I won't have to spend any of my governing capacity to get some more of that, but I guess it is possible. 3,000 ducats is nothing. Nothing at all. Do I have a colony? Well, first off, I have armies. And uh, I need to not have those armies, please. And I have navies. You can go protect trade in the English Channel. You can go here. You can uh, protect trade in the English Channel. And, um, yeah, where, where are you, uh, must have just missed that. You go up there. You go there, except for you, you're going to go in the English Channel. <clears throat> All right, well, that'll help. I'll wind up with more transports than I need, but that's okay. Basic plan right now is to wait until June of next year, declare war on France, try and take all of that. That will likely... Um, I'm not going to lose that much religious unity. That will likely anger England enough. Are you revolutionary Scotland now? just lose taxes. Yeah, you just lost taxes. That will likely anger... anger, uh... Britain enough to finally be aggressive... you know, worried about my aggressive expansion. But, you know... Oh well... I bet you it's the integration of Portugal and gathering, gaining all of this land and, and uh, you know, this stuff that was uh, the problem there. With the, uh, the stuff. That's what I was checking. I was checking colonies. We do have colonies. I'm actually abandoned colonies. I want my I want some governing capacity back. I at least want to not have to worry about it. Alright, diplomatic power. Diplo technology. Not yet. I'm going to actually change my culture here. We're going to select to change to Aragonese. We're going to go by cost. Uh, no, we're not. We're going to go by location here. Uh, but first, let's get the policies that matter. I don't need Diplo annexation cost anymore. I do need culture conversion cost. And, um, I think it may not hurt to grab some, uh, missionary strength versus heretics. That should be fine. When is this, uh, done? September, two years away. That's okay. 
we're going to just spend a lot of power right here. Trying to convert things to Aragonese for the kind of third part of the achievement, I guess. I guess you could say that. Now, they don't like me. The relations penalty, that should change over time. Yeah, that relations penalty is, is huge. That should change, flip over over time. Part of why I, I went in the last episode to try and get that, make it happen, was uh, the fact that... Uh, excuse me, France is a great power. Have you seen France recently? Not a great power. It's not I would what I would call great. We are still not even at ten percent. All right, so yeah, we're just gonna keep keep converting all of that good stuff. Now we have ninety four more power in Diplo. So we can get a couple more. Going to Aragonese, and I believe that Aragonese will wind up, of course, turning to Roman. All right, let's go ahead and fight this war. Um, I don't like that Pasai is involved. I don't like that Ava is involved, but I think that we're not going to have too much issue getting the war score we need to just take this stuff. Actually, you go take them out. Yeah, take them out and then go up here. You go to Paris. Um, you go ahead and go up here. No problem. No problem. Oh, they, uh, they're running away. Want to knock out their army. Yeah, let's go here. Knock them out. There we go. Reforming the Colonial Administration. Let's get Liberty Desire. That seems good. Oh, they actually have a Navy. To be concerned about. Go, uh, make me no longer concerned. Make it happen. Come on in here. Thank you. I am no longer concerned. And there's the Siege of Paris. Oh, yeah. Hop on the boat. Don't, don't do that. Not in reality. Um, combine together. I did order some more ships in the interim in preparation for Great Britain, because like I said, I am anticipating that if I try to take this, Great Britain will have something to say about it, and they will. So, I mean, there's not going to be very many other people who don't have a truce with me, granted. But uh, it would do me well to uh, just go ahead and grab Great Britain there. Now, I don't think I'm going to have anywhere near the ability to get this. 
So for now, we'll just kind of hang off on that. I might be able to get something like this. But I'm just going to worry about taking the land that I actually need. Can always get to Zealandia by boat. Alright, I won one of these big sieges here. Mercs, you go handle that. Well, okay, apparently not. Sit there then. First off, is there anyone else I can get out of the war? But secondly, do I care? I might not care. Because it might be a case where uh, I actually want some of these nations to be in the war. So that uh, I can just get just get some more you should have enough there let's let our navies duke it out now that it's open Go take them out. Alright, um, go here and here. You go th there, there. And, um,. Trying to convert my still. Let's. This is kind of just a gathering ground kind of deal, as we will try to push into Brandenburg. Spain will be. By the way, was that not enough? Oh. Yeah, I got the claims there, but but I have to uh, control Venice. Well, that's okay. That is okay. And that might be a thing is to, in order to declare war on uh, Great Britain to actually do it by knocking out uh, Venice. Because if I do it that way, then... Uh, So we're going to detach that, and that was all the obsolete ships too. Come on over here. Alright, we're winning sieges. And uh, they actually got Brandenburg on the run. Good job, Commonwealth. I'm proud of you. Yeah, come on up there. You go. Okay, don't go there. Basically, I'm I'm really leaning into this idea of uh, just trucing with France and trying to use everyone else as much war score as I can. Hmm. 
You should be toast. You should be toast. Um, yes, I will accept knowledge sharing from the Platinet. Not sure why they're willing to give that to me. There's very many good reasons why they should not be willing to do that, but they are. Alright, um, let's go ahead and get that one. And we have stuff in the Cortez. I would like culture conversion cost. And I can get it. Doing uh, diplomatic support would kind of negate the f idea here. Military support, sure. Army professionalism, yeah, I guess it will. All right, so that is done. Let's convert some more culture. <clears throat> Ooh, this is a hundred. I'm just going to convert the Spain region and then we'll keep going. Right, yeah, come on back over here. Back over there. Cannot upgrade any ships. That's new. Uh, France is probably willing now. And they're willing with a lot of money. Give me war reps. And then however much money you're willing to give. And I'm going to call that good. And I can embrace the institution. Did that lower culture conversion cost too? Hang on. It did. Uh, I'm not going to worry about refunding. But, uh... I, I've never messed with the culture before, like I said at the start of this uh, campaign. So you learn something new. Uh, you go there, and you wind up here. So that should be four armies headed to four different places, and it is. You guys head down over here. Alright. Um, we're going to try to get, get ourselves ready. Hopefully this will work. So you guys wind up in your own fleet. You guys... Well, you guys can wind up in the fleet too. Um, split in half. We're going to split those galleys in half again and hopefully that's enough there's the coalition so we may not be able to wait
We're going to have to wait long enough for the armies to be in position. Alright, armies are in position. They've got a pretty heavy fleet right there. But it's gonna have to not matter. Alright. So we're gonna co-belligerent. We're gonna do Imperialism. That'll bring in Munster and Holland. Oh well. And go. And so basically, these guys are to go immediately. You go over here, you head up here. It is slightly concerning. Let's take you, bring you up here. Let's do that. I can call allies in, huh? I will. Slightly, slightly concerning that we do have uh, this significant fight here, right on the doorstep. The key to this whole shebang is making sure that we can get the Navy landed. We have a full month we have to hold out here. That's kind of a big deal. So I know that you don't have much in the way of things. But in the way of strength, we get up there anyway. Get up there anyway. We are getting closer. They're fully morale. Alright, one unit is in. One unit is in. Two are in. to the transport. Get out at sea. How long on the siege? Fifteen days. Ten days. 
just got to hold out for long enough. You just got to hold out for long enough. It might be long enough. One, two, three. It was long enough. Whew. Okay. You go here. You cannot go there. We're just going to go full on there. Uh, yeah, all navies retreat. That is perfectly fine. You are going to go... Can you get here? You can, theoretically. Let's go get Munster out of this war. Since they're going to try to sink our fleets that are retreating. Which, you know, probably wise. Um... Can you make the run? Maybe not. April 18th? Are you guys on the fort yet? You are. Blow a hole in that. They retreated. That was actually a smart move. I'm somewhat impressed. But also aggravated. No idea what, uh, what we're going to face here. terms of army size, but hopefully I'm landing enough to deal with whatever they put in front of me. Go ahead and go over here. Go ahead and go over here. Why is overextension high? Really shouldn't be. They have 46,000 in the north. did get away. <laughs> That's good. How much, uh, how much navy has been lost? 107 ships. Naval invasions of England. That's what they are. Now in theory, right, that's all I need. I would like a lot more. And the fact is, we're not going to make anyone else angry. If I did just kind of connect... We're only at 52. That's 66 war score there. That might be doable. That might be doable. Maybe. I'd like to win the sieges here in Munster. The Sack of London. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go easy on London. I kind of want that territory. We're going to go there. We're going to put you here, and I'm going to put you there. Can I not... I can't. Okay. Alright, so we have captured London. Which is excellent, excellent news. 
That's light ships. But still, I'm just going to roll right over here. I think. I have to respect, very much respect, England. I have a history with them. It's not overly good. We're going to do that. All right, we have Munster. We have your capital. Go away for whatever you're willing. I cannot force the religion. I really wanted to. Whatever you're willing to do. All right. I think we have to end this episode here. Uh, this should be it now. Yeah, it's Venice and Great Britain. So in the next one, we will take down Great Britain and then uh, lose to Venice. There's one day. Uh, we are uh, about 170-ish, give or take, away from, from taking this piece deal. as a very good starting point. I mean, I could always give Scotland back its cores, too. Um... But I don't think we can get to 100 war score or anything like that. Because we're probably going to have to deal with, uh, deal with colonies. But, uh, yeah. I think this should work itself out. And uh, we'll, we'll try to take that. That's a good start. And then we will be on our way to conquering the British Isles for Rome. And uh, be very, very close couple more wars and we'll have uh, Rome and then uh, then we'll move from there. I've been Taco Bell Gaming. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff down below and I will move this army to here and then I will see you next time.